Hello and welcome to BlenderTutor.com. My name is Tom Latvies, and in this series, we're gonna go over exporting a world from Minecraft and then importing that world into Blender. And then we're gonna go over setting up the materials so that you could render it in cycles. Because by default, you actually won't be able to render in cycles. It'll only link up in the Blender internal engine. So, let's get started here is uh my finished render but honestly everyone's is going to be different you could do whatever you want you could use it to uh you could just make a render like i did like a solid render you could build a cool model inside of minecraft and then you know just render it setting up custom materials to it um or you could do some animations i know a lot of people on youtube have done really cool little movies and animations with blender stuff so if you want more control and want to be able to bring stuff into blender to create those this will be a perfect way to do that so in this first lesson i'm just going to go over the software we're going to be using and how to export a, a selected piece of your world out of minecraft so let's get into it So the first thing you're going to need is some software called Mineways, which I will, I will put this link on my website and I'll put it on YouTube as well. So what we're going to do is you're going to download it at, at the moment. It's currently only for PC and Mac. So I would download it for PC. I actually already have it downloaded, but once you download it, um, I will show you what it's going to look like basically going to give you a zip file and once you unzip it it's going to give you a folder like this and you're just going to have like a readme a bunch of texture files and then really the most important is you're going to have a little application right here so what you could do is open up that application and it's just going to be blank when you first open it you're actually going to have to go to file open world to uh you know actually have a world so before I do that I'm gonna actually bring over Minecraft real quick and we'll just create a new world so that here's one I created for the tutorial and so we'll just call this tutorial and I would put it into creative mode because then you don't have to worry about dying and you could have unlimited blocks of everything so that you could build whatever you'd like select that and then it's going to create just a, a random world for you. And what I would recommend doing, if you double tap space, you could fly. And what I would recommend doing is kind of just flying around in all directions in like a big circle. So as you can see, as I'm moving, it's loading more of the world. And you want to have a, you know, a decent, uh oh, chunking up a little there. You want to have a decent size world before you start to export because if you if not not everything's loaded you're gonna have just like missing chunks of your world and you're probably not gonna want that when you're rendering so all right i'm pretty happy hello pigs i am pretty happy with this now but you know depending on the scale of what you want to render you might want to give it a bigger chunk this, this looks good. This looks like a cool little view. Drop down here and uh, that'll be a cool little uh, view to render out. So that's all you have to do. You can hit escape and save and quit and quit my game now. So now with Mineways, I'll go to File, Open World. I might actually have to close it so I can see that new world I just created. So now you see I have tutorial in here. And now I have this kind of world that I just explored. It's kind of hard to tell uh, what everything is. Um, and in fact, what I would recommend, I'm going to go back in there real quick because I want to get those mountains. So I'm going to go into my world. Place selected world and I'll maximize that one second. And uh, I'm just gonna grab like a 
bright like yellow block and I'm just gonna go put that on top of all of my mountains and that this is how I kind of got an idea of where something was in the world because later we're gonna have to export a selection of that world and if you can't actually see what you want you're just gonna grab random chunks so I'll put a couple up here and uh, we'll put some over here if you can, so you think you keep them out of your render, try to put them like behind something that you won't actually see in the render. Because right now they look pretty large, but once we get to that little mini map of our world, it's going to look like just little yellow pixels, very tiny. So you want to have more than one of them, but you don't want them to show up in your render. So I'll put a little yellow line there. All right, and that's kind of giving me an idea of where all of this is. I'm gonna put one more down here somewhere. Just fall. Okay, and uh, then maybe to top it off, I'll put one down here somewhere in our forest. And that'll kind of be the starting point for where our camera will be. All right, okay, so now that we have that set up, we could quit that again, and I'm gonna close that, reopen, go to tutorial, and now if we zoom in a little, so I could see my nice yellow line right there. Yellow might not have been the best color because there's also yellow flowers, but it does look like that's one of my chunks right there. That's definitely the line I just added. That's another chunk that I added. And then here's a line that's where my camera was so let's just grab that so what we're gonna do is from starting right here I'm gonna click with my right mouse button and drag and it's just gonna create this little purple selection area and uh, I might just go back for a little while the bigger you select the the bigger selection you have the larger the file you're gonna export and it's gonna it could potentially slow down your, your computer, especially while you're exporting and importing, but it's just basically what you think your computer can handle. It might take a little trial and error. And also depending on the scale of your scene, that'll be good for me. And now this is gonna pop up and it's saying some blocks in your selection are visible below the current lower depth of 62. That might be saying like there are valleys that are lower than uh, what my camera could see. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. All this is saying is it's going to lower the depth value. So basically Minecraft worlds are on a grid system, um, both on the X and Y, but also on the Z, so up and down. And um, I think it's 255 blocks up and then... 255 blocks down as well right now it's only going down to the 62 I'm, I don't actually know <laughs> I just know that sometimes this will pop up you can say yes if you think you're gonna see those valleys and you don't want a large hole in your map you're just gonna say yes and it'll automatically lower it for you once you have your selection finished you're gonna go to export for rendering or control R and um, as you can see, I already have a world exported. So I'm gonna go to my desktop and create a new folder and call it uh, Tutorial World. And now I need to actually name the file itself. Okay, so I'll hit save and now it's gonna pop up this cool thing with all these extra options for you and it's basically just scale I, I think what mine ways is is really for is you can if I open that website up again you can actually 3d print your minecraft creations which is really cool actually um, but for what we're gonna use it for is to render it so we don't need to necessarily worry about all of this like real like world scale necessarily um, basically, if you think you want to get 3D printed, you're going to 
adjust these settings that, so that like obviously the more detailed your piece is, the more money it's going to cost you. So you might want a lower resolution or cut out blocks and stuff so that it will be what you think you could afford. Um, we don't have to worry about that though. We don't really, I didn't really have to change any of this for, I, I did click this and it ended up flipping my world. So I would even leave that off. Um, really you can, you can mess around with some of these, but I just leave it as the default settings hit. Okay. And now you can see down here, you can have a little progress bar. It's saving our world and it's already done. Actually, it goes pretty quickly. So now I'm going to open up blender. Here's my, uh, finished world. And you can see there, um, I originally exported a pretty small chunk of my map, but it was enough for my view. Um, so let's create a new file. We're, we're gonna delete that default cube and I actually ended up moving these two to another layer. Now with this, uh, with this blank scene, basically, we're gonna go to file, import a .obj file. And on my desktop, I have my tutorial world right here. It's gonna have two files. You're gonna have an OBJ and a MTL, which I believe is for materials. In fact, if you import just the OBJ, it'll already bring in the materials for you. So that's all you had to do. And this is gonna slow down a little, but once it imports, you're gonna have your entire world all in a blender, which is pretty awesome. And uh, that's, it's as simple as that to bring it into blender. Now, sadly, it doesn't by default work with render uh, cycles, render engine. So we're gonna have to go over changing and adjusting the material so that they will work inside of cycles. So we're going to do that in the next video. So um, I'll just have a link to the next video here. So see you then.